Meanwhile, McAllen and the Humanitarian Respite Center helping immigrant families who weren't separated after crossing into the U.S. News Center 23's Jose Sainz spoke to some of those families who share their journey to the border. Good evening, Brenda. Many of the parents who have come through these doors with their children tell us they feel fortunate to have their little ones by their side and say they couldn't imagine their lives without them. If they take him away or separate us, it'll be tough. I would never want them to take him to one location and send me to a different one. It would be difficult. After learning that other families did not run with the same luck, parents here at the respite center say they feel for those who were separated from their kids. It's sad to hear what's happening. We know the kids are used to being with their parents and they can't be on their own. It's hard for the parents not to know what's happening with them. Many of the parents who go through the respite center say they feel relieved now that they're in the U.S. together with their children after crossing through some difficult areas in Mexico. We went through so many places to get here, but thank God I'm here with my son. We're both happy. Right now, there are a lot of questions surrounding the separation of families along the border. RGB Sector Patrol Chief Manuel Padilla had scheduled a press conference to address this issue, but it's been postponed until further notice. Brenda? Jose, thank you. The Respite Center is helping dozens of new immigrant families on a daily basis.